Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to flash and revert your essential phone back to stock firmware. Um, so this would be good if um, you somehow maybe break your device, um, you want to revert back to stock firmware so you can take an OTA from essential for maybe the Oreo beta, um, things like that. Um, or if you're doing this for warranty purposes, you're going to be able to uh, not have to worry about your phone uh, being detected that it's rooted, that sort of thing. Um, so um, if you can't boot up your device, uh, you do need to go ahead and boot into to fast boot. Um, otherwise, you can just go ahead and uh, just use ADB or the the volume and power keys to uh, to reboot. So I'm currently on Lineage OS just to give you guys some um, some background here. We'll go ahead and just uh, restart. We'll go into bootloader. There's a few things you're going to need to do. Of course, have ADB Fastboot set up on your computer. You probably already um, have that if you've rooted or done anything to your essential phone. You're going to need to download the latest uh, stock uh, firmware dump that we were able to retrieve uh, thanks to Invisible K um, from the, the OTAs that Essential has pushed out. Um, so go ahead and download um, download that. I'll leave the links down in the description to the original thread on XDA. Huge shout out to him for being able to put this together. Um, so to download that, it is going to be a zip file. Um, you're going to need to then extract that using whichever method you use. I'm going to be using uh, Windows 7, by the way, and 7-zip to, to achieve this. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly create a new folder. That way it's easier to, to maintain and organize everything. You'll let that uh, unzip itself, and then we'll be right back. All right, so now that is done, we can see here, here's our folder with the extracted files. All right, guys, so now that we have extracted the files from the, the zip here into the, the folder, like I have, um, you don't have to, but for me, for my sake, as far as organization, I find it easier. Now, what I've had to do, um, I've gone ahead and copied the Fastboot application into that folder, so that way you can actually uh, recognize your phone in this uh, in this new folder here. So if we go to open command prompt here, fast boot devices, we can see it's recognized. Now, if you're coming from a ROM or something else, you're gonna to wanna to actually wipe the phone first before doing this, otherwise your phone won't boot. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now, fast boot space dash W, erasing user data. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. We'll wait for that to, to finish. And what we'll be doing next is running the flash all batch script, which will then flash the, the stock firmware back onto the phone. All right, so now that is done, you can go ahead and go over to that folder, the flash all, we're gonna just right click, run as administrator, that way there's no issues in that regard. It'll automatically start running. This is gonna take a couple minutes because it's having to flash both uh, a and B partition for basically everything. So give that a minute. Um, it's going to take a little while. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So now it is finally finished. It took about a little over 10 minutes. Um, so be patient during all of this. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, restart the phone now. Um, we'll get back into uh, locking the bootloader once again in just a moment. We just want to uh, reboot the phone and see if that if that works here. Boot animation, so it looks like we are off to a good start. All right, I just felt it vibrate. So it is now finished booting up. So the first boot is going to take just a little bit longer than a normal reboot. So that is great. And here is the setup screen. Awesome, awesome. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and uh, lock the bootloader once again. So we're gonna go ahead and just power off the phone first. All right, in order to boot into fast boot, we're gonna be pressing and holding down the volume down and power at the same time. All right, here we are. And just to ensure, again, that it's being recognized, perfect. Now, just to lock the bootloader, we'll be doing fast boot 
flashing lock. And now it's going to be prompting us, do you want to lock the bootloader? You want to go ahead and click on yes. And of course, we don't have to worry about wiping the phone because we wiped it when we flashed back to stock. We can see here, here's the erasing, which is normal. And then you won't have that bootloader security warning message anymore. And that'll just boot back up like it should. And here we are, it has now booted up. We are now back to stock with a locked bootloader and you saw all here right on camera. I'm gonna go, of course, edit out all the long pauses and the time it takes to flash everything. So again, really appreciate uh, Invisible K for supporting these uh, system firmware dumps that we were able to get from OTA. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below, like the video, and hit that subscribe button to see future content, and I hope to see you all in the next video, and take care.